Welcome to this two-minute techie tip brought to you by the Lumen Christie Saint Squad. Students actively involved in networking and technology. This is Sydney, and as a Saint Squad member, our goal is to increase student and staff achievement by enhancing our digital liter literacy. We are work literacy. We are working to establish a digital culture at our school by developing the care career. Re ready skills of communication, collaboration, and cre creativity and critical thinking through the use of creating content versus consuming and publishing or work, or work versus printing. So let's get started and learn how to make, how to create a new document. And so, as you can see, I am in Google Drive and and I know this because I see the word drive up here. Here, and I had previous, previously selected the drive app on the black menu bar within our Google Apps for education school dom domain. So when I want to create something new within my drive, I can select or click on, on the red create button here. So create button. Create, okay. And it gives me all of these wonderful options and I can create a folder a document a presentation spreadsheet form drawing and a map uh, so to create a document I simply choose document document and new and a new document or file with while open so let's do that. And now we have to give it a name. So naming a GAFE document is important because I want to stay consistent and using a name convention that will help me find it later. And if I I'm a student, so if I am a student, I will always want my teacher to provide me with a name for my school related files. For this tutorial, I'm going to name this document to English. So you go up here to rename it. So let's name it to English capital R W R. I mean, oops, T R F G B B. And then we hit OK. And this will tell me that this is my for my second hour English class, and it relates to where the Redfern Grows novel we that the fifth graders are reading. And I added my initials to the name uh, up here, but that's not really my initials. But I'm just gonna use it. So uh, BB, which is oh always smart to do do in different different for the teacher and again I want to be consistent in naming doc a uh, document or and for school stuff my teacher should provide document names so here we go I have my document and it's named correctly name correctly <laughs> and now what I can do within a GAF document compared to a word document pretty much pretty much everything but um um, if I add some text, so let's say, um, no, oops, no body wants these toys for Christmas. Um, I can go over to my toolbar right here toolbar and I can and looks surprisingly similar to Microsoft Word if I highlight nobody wants these toys for Christmas I can the I if I highlight a word or a sentence I can change the text style so let's go how big do we want it let's go um, 48 yeah and we can also change the color of one word. 
I just realized that I spelled that wrong. No body. Let's change that to red. And then the rest to green. Because that's Christmas colors. Yay, Christmas. Okay. Um, <laughs> now, uh, I can make it, I can also make it bold. Italics and underlined. And, um, so you'll have to highlight everything to italic. That makes it slanted. Bold, it makes it pop out of the page, kind of. And underlined, it just underlined the words. So let's take them all off. And, uh, uh, and I can also add in bullet points and number the name. So let's do blue, my face color. So numbers, you can go goodies for party, um, candy, and ornaments. So that's what you need to pick up. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Did I? Oh, I did. Oh, there we go. And so that's what you need to pick up from the store. So let's say you have to go to the grocery store now, and you want bullet points instead of numbers. You go up here bullet points and you can also change the way that you want it so let's go stars I love stars <laughs> so let's say from the grocery store you need apples carrots mangoes and peas let's make it a little bit smaller let's make it 30 36. Let's go 36. 36. And so that's what you need for the grocery store. And so let's say we are done with creating our document. And now what? Well, it well it will always be found in my drive. So if I go back, it's always going to be there. And you can also change it so you don't have to see it like that. You can make it like this. I like seeing I like seeing it like this because then you know what it is. And so, well, it will always be found in my drive. And how do I get back to my drive? Well, I really didn't do the proper way. But if you hit this button, it says Docs Homes, it'll bring you right back to your home page for Docs. But if you want to go back to your drive, because it has two different pages, you just hit the drive thing. Okay. And I am back in my drive now, and I can see my newly created document right here. And however, this violates one of one one of the primary rules of GAF adequate that everything must be in a folder. Stray documents can be lost, and for schools we school we always want to think about using folders. So to To uh, make put this in a folder, I'm going to click on the create button again. And I'm going to click folder, and I'm going to name this W T R F G for the novel that the fifth graders are reading. And so now, now I just need to move it my document into this folder. But there's a good way in to do this and a bad way to do this. The good way is to tick or click. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. There's a little box in the corner here. You want to tick that. And then it says move to. You click on the folder name and you hit move. So now it is in my folder. See? But the bad way is to just... Ooh, no. The bad way is to just take that document and move it into the into the drive, which is not very safe because sometimes they can be lost. But not not most of the time, but sometimes 
So, and I will always want to move my files or documents in GAF using the method. I select the file, tick the box, I click to move. I click the move to button and I select the folder that I want to I want to move my document to. And bam, it is done. And now when I open that folder, I can see my document is safe, safely inside. Yay, safely inside. So that's all about um, creating a new doc and putting in a folder. Um, topic for the Lou and Christie Saint Squad. Thanks for watching this two minute techie tip. Please share the, this skill with others to promote a digital and mobile student-centered learning culture in, our, in your classroom. And remember, to create more than you consume and publish more than you print and to highlight the efforts of all digital learners.